Good morning, land of YouTube. I don't recommend this for the normal type. I'm uh, currently in transit to my first repair this morning. I do in-home appliance repair for a living, well, in the background of things anyway. And I'm here with another energy drink madness situation. This is uh, Accelerator brand, and they have zero sugar, natural caffeine, natural electrolytes, and it says plant-based thermogenics. So it gives you active energy and accelerates your metabolism. And I think any fucking better way to help me burn off excess weight, I, I welcome. And um, yeah, it's a little revealing. I'm like, by the way, I'm driving. I'm doing 70 miles an hour on the freeway right now and making a YouTube video. But some people are more capable of things than others. And I'm not trying to set a bad example for anybody. So don't do this at home unless you're well trained and well versed in doing shit the nature of what I'm doing. Don't do it. Just go to your limits. I think if everybody could only follow that model and actually live within their limitations, then okay, that's fine. Um, the world would probably not need so many meaningless or useless laws if everybody knew to come to an intersection and look to begin with. <laughs> um, back in the 50s, there was no seat belts. You know, they may have had lap belts starting, but people were responsible. They knew how to look around. I mean, shit, the owner's manual on microwaves and other things like that told you how to repair it. And that's the idea that I think this kind of, uh, the current situation with everyone in every sense, they've lost sight of, nobody really wants to take ownership or self-ownership, as in, they're like, oh, I need somebody to protect me from myself because they don't know me. And I'm like, oh, well, listen up. Here's some information. You are worth it. You can learn more. You're capable of a lot more than you know. And it will brighten up the world being a brighter motherfucking individual. So, boys and girls, if you fucking hear anything I say that's really meaningful and it hits home, like, subscribe, share, pay attention to my content. Don't pay attention to my content. If it's controversial and it offends you, maybe you needed it. Also, comment and let me know how controversial it is. I'm willing and open to any kind of constructive criticism as feedback to help me grow. I'm constantly craving knowledge. I could only want the best for humanity and inspire the same kind of thing in others, which I hope everyone craves knowledge. I don't know how many do. I mean, isn't it a, a fucked situation if you live in the dark your whole life and you never want to let the light in? I think that's a fucked situation. I look at the state of the world and the state of our consciousness as a human race and I, I, I consider, you know, I think too many people lost faith. And they don't have a faith. They don't even have a, a sense of self anymore. And everybody's trying to be in an individual and they're doing everything they can to try to stand out and they just don't know how to be an individual. Some people do. There are individuals out there that express themselves. Very, very colorful individuals. They're far and few between. So if you're hearing this and you agree with me or don't agree with me and you think It'd be an okay idea to share this message with others. Do it. It always kind of starts off with an energy drink topic. Or whatever I get to. You know, I've got a bunch of different angles I'm coming at. And um, by coming at, I'm coming at you with a bunch of different angles. Because you are worth it, people. So, step up to the challenge. Brighten up your day. Brighten up somebody else's day. Love the fucking person next to you. Even if you disagree with them. That's the true nature of humanity for humanity. I'm gonna keep this up as a repetitive topic in every single bit of my content that I deliver to you. And with that, I say, peace out.